Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm really excited for this video because I said I was going to do it a long time ago, but then you know things happen. Um, today, we're going to do a full face of products that only cost $1. Okay, why am I doing this? One, it's exciting. Two, I got a lot of products from Shop Miss A, which is an online dollar, online makeup store. Everything is not a dollar, but like 90% of things are a dollar. Um, and they have a lot of beauty products that are actually really good. I'll link them down below. And um, that's where most of the stuff came from. And then the, other, the rest of the stuff came from the Dollar Tree. Now, uh, the Dollar Tree sells name brand makeup, but a lot of times for dark skin, um, there's nothing in there. Although LA Colors just extended their line of makeup, and so I'm really excited for that. Um, but anyway, most of the things, Shop Miss A or either the Dollar Tree. And how this is going to work is I'm going for full glam. I'm going for the most I can do. Why? Because a lot of times if you think makeup is necessary, if it's cheap, it's light coverage, or it's like, you know, e e easy, yes, but like you can't get like full glam. And I like to push, I'm going to push these products to the limit because if they can do that, then they can do less, obviously. Um, so that's how it works. I don't know what kind of look I'm going for, but I feel like every single product, I think I have every single product. So what I'm going to do is where, okay, we're going to start with primer and then I'm going to do my, um, then I'm going to do my brows. Okay, I have a bin here with all this products I want to use. And then some others um so the first thing i'm going to do and the way this video is going to go is just for sake of time i'll sp speed up different things whatever um this is the la colors we have two primers here one dollar everything is a dollar okay got it from the dollar tree la colors uh i have the smoothing face both of them are smoothing face primers and i have a peach and i have a clear so the peach is to correct dark spots and then the clear is to minimize pores i'm going to actually mix the two together uh i think Actually, all these products are fairly new to me. Um, ooh, that's a lot of primer. Because I think this one, I did swatch this one. It was a little ashy. Um, but anyway, I'm going to mix these two. They're really, really white-based. <laughs> um, it's going to make me ashy. I already know. But that's okay, because we're going to cover it up. So I'm going to put some primer on. And... Um, yeah. So, I'm really excited, you guys. So, it's giving me a white cast, but <laughs> I'm going to... Why are you so much? I don't know. What's wrong with me? Starting off bad already. Um, This is going to be, I don't want to say a first impression, because some of these things I've used before, but this is not like a review where these are the best products. Some of this... Alright, I'm actually... We know. Some of this is... um. Just trying it out. I'm already ashy. It's not looking good. It looks like a ghost. Stay with me, though. Don't judge yet. We're not going to judge yet. Okay? Don't judge yet. Um, so those two, I don't even know. I don't think the peach one did anything. But I, my pores do feel a little bit smoother. Um, just a little. Just look a little bit. Nothing to write home about. I'm just trying to wipe, see if I can wipe it. I really look like a ghost. That's okay. We're going to cover it up with makeup. I'm not too worried about it, baby. Okay. So, we're going to do our brows. So, I have this AOA Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade. I got the shade Caramel. This is something I haven't used yet. It's like a brown. It should work. I don't even know if it's soft or not. Let me get a brush. And I'll probably speed this up. Let me do my brows with my ghostly face. It's soft. Let's see, and it's it's cream. It's not as thick as the Anastasia Brow is, but it's also not as I think it's a good consistency. It's not as um like super creamy, which I don't like that. Um, so let me do these brows. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, me looking like a ghost is tripping me out. I don't have a brow gel. It's fine. I'm going to use my e.l.f. brow gel because 
um, it's, it's not a dollar anymore. They're two dollars, but they were a dollar at some point in time, so that works. This color, Ebony, what is it called? I said Ebony. Caramel. Looks pretty good to me. Brows look pretty good. It was easy to work with. I don't have any complaints so far. I really want to carve these uh, brows out with some concealer. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we have here. So the I bought some AOA Studio concealers, liquid concealers. I don't think I have any one deep enough to carve my brows out. I don't know. I got a lot of crap. But I'm going to try the LA Colors concealer. This one here. I know, deeper shades. This is called Toffee. This shade is Toffee. I remember like watching reviews on these, like people doing the Dollar Tree stuff, and they weren't that pigmented. Um, I'm not pigmented, like didn't have that much coverage. I remember that. I don't know if they changed the formula. So I think this will be, yeah, this is fine. I think this will be good enough to uh, carve out my brows. Wow, this concealer. <laughs> I could have I could have used a little bit of a lighter one, but this looks like it's gonna work well for my skin tone if I put it anywhere else on my face. That looks pretty damn good. Ah, okay. Remember, I'm not using it for coverage right now. I'm using it for precision, and it's working just fine. Okay just fine okay All right, brows are done. I like them. I like that pomade. No, no complaints. Okay, let's go ahead and do your eyes. I'm doing normal face situation like I normally do. I got a whole bin of things. <laughs> All right, so again, we're going pretty full glam. I have <laughs> so much in here. So. I don't have a $1 eye primer. Um, e.l.f. makes a really good $1 one. Um, there's a few. Actually, do I have the e.l.f. one? I think I do. I think I do. I do. I do. Um, the AOA Studio line, they have some liquid concealers. I was going to use those, the ones I just talked about. I also think, now I'm thinking about they were $1.55 and not a dollar. We're close. We're pretty close. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody gonna come for me for not following the rules. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna set, put this down. Now, I think I wanna do a base down because I wanna do a glam. I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know. We'll start here. This e.l.f. eye primer. Okay. It was pretty, this is the only primer I used to use. You can see how it made my lids a little bit lighter, so if you're doing some colors, um, I think I want to do, I think I know what I want to do. I think I know. <laughs> There's so much. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Okay, I got it. I got it, y'all. I got it. This is what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to build up my look. This teeny tiny, how cute is this? LA Colors. going to be a lot of LA Colors because I went to Dollar Tree. LA Colors. Um, this palette is called Sunset Break. Okay, and it's you have some warms on this side and some plums on that side. I'm going to build out a crease, build out some stuff, okay? 
So I'm going to start with that warm brown because we love a warm brown. And I'm going to build out the crease and let's see what happens. I haven't used this. Let's see what happens. Okay. And this palette has a little mirror in it too. Oh, adorbs. <laughs> I'm going to blend this shade into the crease and blend it or actually further up. Okay. It's not the best brush I want to be using, but actually this is a $1 brush from e.l.f. I grabbed it. Not on purpose. I just grabbed one. It's pretty... I think I know where I'm going with this. Yeah, I think I know where. <laughs> In terms of this look, sorta. Sorta know where I'm going. Okay, so I used that palette to set the basis for Halo Eye. Um, I don't know if you can really tell. So I did some, I did, excuse me, I did this shade in the crease. I deepened everything up with this one. And then I took this purple, which is kind of a creamier consistency. And I put that on the inner and outer parts of the eye. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but let's see. This is the AOA Studio Loose Pigment. They have loose pigments for $1, and uh, oh, it's like a blue-brown, MAC blue-brown dupe. You get all this pigment for one buck. Oh, God, I just dropped it. <laughs> it didn't all spill out. I'm going to just use what I spilled on the table. What is wrong with me? Oh, no, we're fine. I was able to scoop it all back in. But this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like, and I'm going to put that in the center of my lid before I really just <laughs> really make a mess. But anyway, yeah, it's a definitely a blue-brown dupe. So let's put that on the lid. And I am going to spray my brush. I don't have a $1 setting spray. Um, I don't. So... We'll use probably one of the cheaper ones I have, and that's the Elf Mist and Set. Pretty. Um, I don't know if these colors necessarily go together, but I'm having fun. And that's what the important part is. <laughs> because I don't know if that purple and that whatever. I don't know. But y'all know some of the, the times I have the most fun is when my eye looks the messiest. And this is giving me... Oh, that's so pretty. Alright. Alright, Sway. I'm going to clean up a little bit. Because I want this halo to really just be on the lid. Um, I don't know why, but okay. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. I want to highlight my brow. Oh, these colors gonna be everywhere. I love it. Whew! Highlight my brow with this light champagne shade that's in the palette. Oh, you guys. Oh. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Oh. It's a little sharp right now. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Oh. 
Ah, oh, I'm so happy right now. <sighs> I am. I get happy when things just, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's keep moving. So I want to do some eyeliner. I think I'm going to do a subtle little wing because I do want to blow out the lower lash line and I'll do that. Um, but I do have an eyeliner. Why do I pull this one out? I don't know. That's not going to work. So, L.A. I, yeah, I can't do that. L, I'm talking to myself right now. Um, ooh. L.A. Colors has these eye markers that are in the dollar store. I think I talked about these in a uh, video. I don't know if that blue is going to work. But you know what? Let's go for it. Let's, let's go for the blue. Let's go for it. Why not? Okay. Oh, that's pretty, really pretty eye today. So, I was, I have some lashes, but I don't know if I want to wear, uh, full glam. We're going full glam. We're going full glam. Um, let's pop on, I'm going to pop on these lower lash, these lower lashes, these lashes. Um, do I have mascara? I do. Wait. Did I get a dollar mascara? I don't think I do have it. Why did I thought I was so prepared for this? Anyway, I'm going to pop on some mascara. I'm going to put on these $1 lashes. These are from the brand Ioni. Um, and they're in the Dollar Tree. Um, and this is the Style Natural 3. They're 3D foaming lashes. So I'm going to pop these on. Uh, and then we'll focus on the lower lash line. BRB. Okay, guys, so she's loving her eyes. Um, this is, I popped on those lashes. Now, I will say something about these. This brand from the Dollar Tree, they are flexible. They are, they don't have, like, super dramatic, like, super dramatic, like, cocoa lashes. But these are pretty dramatic. They're, like, a wispy. Um, they're long. They're, like, a wispy. But what I want to say is they're not a clear band. They're a black band, but it is the thinnest black band I have ever seen where I'm sure you could get away with them without liner um yeah so on the lower lash line I did went ahead and put my eyeliner on while I was waiting for my uh glue to get tacky and this is the AOA studio they have some gel eyeliners here's the thing they have names on them on the site but they're not on the liner so this is like a teal blue seafoam whatever um and I put that on my lower lash line and then put it on my, put it on my waterline and lower lash line and use a brush to kind of smudge it out because I didn't have a shadow. I didn't feel like searching for a shadow to smudge with it. So that's what I did. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, we're going to go with the face. I wanted to use a, I need to wet a sponge. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm really excited about the face part of this. So, I have a BB cream from AOA Studio, Perfect BB Cream, that I was going to use. Until I was a dollar store and saw the LA Color stuff. So, we have, we got to match ourselves, the liquid makeup, which is their, like, foundation, which I know it has very light coverage. It's like, <laughs> um, I know, I've saw people use it. But, we have some colors here. I think I'm going to go with the other one, though. The, this is the matte liquid. I'm just assuming, I'm just... In my mind, I want it to be more covered. So these are the matte foundations. Let's see if we can match. I got two shades, Deep Tan and Cappuccino. High pigment formula. Uh, applies as a liquid, blends as a blends to a beautiful matte finish. It, it, yeah, it doesn't have any coverage on it. <laughs> Claims on it, but I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, granted, these are how much you get? 0.1 fluid ounces. So a standard foundation is about one fluid ounce. Uh, 30 milliliters and this is 12 milliliters but it's a dollar so they look kind of light now that I'm looking at them this is the shade cappuccino please god it's like a lip gloss tube please please <gasps> I think I can get away with that it's kind of cool let me try the other one let me try the other one yeah definitely that's definitely too light uh, we might put some of that on the under eye area. Maybe. Um, 
but I'm gonna go with this matte foundation one let's go for it I'm gonna use my one dollar AOA studio sponge oh these are beautiful I bought like 20 of them in my last haul so I have a whole bunch of them um, this is like the best beauty blender dupe that I have found but it's its own thing it's its own thing so cappuccino works um let's do it oh I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm not expecting super full coverage but we'll let's make it work let's make it work okay oh I'm so happy I'm just happy that I got a sh uh, one dollar all right let's see what we got okay um let me already I'm gonna tell you now it's not full coverage it's even not my skin though it is even and not my skin but it's like light to eh, light it's like coverage <laughs> we're going to see if it's buildable though it even out my skin tone it's a great match look at that but we trying to push these things to the limit today y'all I'm trying to push them to the limit do I dare do I dare I dare that color is be I found my color in the dollar Let's see if it's buildable. So I'm going to add a, another layer. <sighs> Again, I'm pushing these to the max. And right now, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. I should have probably color corrected. But I don't have a dollar color corrector, so it is what it is. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see. I can't really tell. Um, no, I'm building up a little bit. Again, not full coverage. I'm trying to push it. But I'm I, I'm equipped while I'm ahead. It definitely built on itself fine to a schmedium. Schmedium. It ain't much to write home about. It's a $1 foundation. But how, if you don't need a lot of coverage, it definitely evened out my skin tone. There's definitely coverage there. Look at that. Look at my face. It's definitely coverage there. We got a schmedium. We got a schmedium pushing medium. We do. Look at that. Um, I'm not going to put the other makeup over top. That'll be for a different video. But I do have concealer. Um, do I want to try the LA color? I have used a lot of LA colors. I'm going to go to my AOA Studio. I wanted to add some illuminator. I forgot. Mm, damn it. Whatever. AOA Studio Liquid Concealer. Um, I'm going to use the shade. This is the shade Honey. Let's see this one. Yeah, I'm going to go with this shade called Honey. Yeah, for now. So I'm going to put a little bit. Actually, I might so put a little bit of that on. That's Honey. And then... Yeah. And then... Oh, give me a little lighter one. Give me a little lighter Why not, y'all? Why not? Um, let's mix the two. Let's mix something. This is LA Colors Medium Beige. I'm having fun. Can you tell I'm having fun? This is LA Colors Medium Beige. It's a lighter one. Y'all know I need my under eye. Yeah. Bright. Will it cover? Uh, I don't have high hopes for either one of them. Um, I can just tell by the thinness of them. Uh, but it should give me some color there should give me some highlighting and it does it does uh, it, oh we got mix the two mixing the two hey, okay definitely not that maximum coverage I want under the eyes at all but color wise it's beautiful I love this shade on y'all know I love a yellow under eye and this is what this is what it's giving me beauty for coverage it ain't there it ain't there so these are definitely lighter weight products but I'm pushing them I told you I'm gonna push them to the limit and I'm gonna be honest with you my face is coming to medium we're getting there we're getting there with the foundation and the concealer we getting there the concealer by itself I can I can just tell you know I've been putting on makeup for a century I can tell but all the combo of everything together we're doing pretty good let me see if I can add a little bit more build up a little bit more let's use some uh, 
Don't have a good shade. Where's the LA colors? I'll put a little bit more on. There we go. Give it a little bit more. Just a little more. Just a little more. Okay. Uh, see if this is buildable. Um. Eh, not really. I'd be lying. Let's say yeah, not really. Just let me let it work in my mind. Color wise, again, I'm loving the way my face looks. I just wish I want a little more coverage. I want to push them to the max, but they gotta be pushed to the max. Everybody don't need super full, super whatever. Uh, okay. Now we need to set this under eye. I do have powders. At least I thought I did. Damn it. <laughs> I thought I had a dollar powder. Oh no. Um, I have skin tone powders. I'll set my under eye. One sec. One second. Um, let's see. Let's see. Hang on, you guys. Hang on. Alright, so I'm going to use, you ain't got to hang on that long. Ugh, I want it to be yellow, but you know what? I got to do what I got to do. Alright, so this is the loose powder from LA, LA Colors. Um, it's $1. This is the shade, ooh, this is the shade medium deep, as I spill it. I'm going to use a, I'm going to use a little bit of this. A little bit. Okay, under my eyes. It has a peachy tone to it. So... It was something I, more something I would use to color to set color corrector, but oh, that mattified and smoothed out really nicely. I can still see my dark circles, but but that set wow, that looks flawless under there. That set that really nice. okay. I like colors. Okay, looking really good, you guys. Again, pushing it. I'm looking really pretty. I, I like how I look. I just want try to push it to full coverage and it ain't getting there. <laughs> but it's not that I hate how I look. Ooh! I think I'm going to go ahead with the loose because I have some pressed powder, some LA colors, but I think I'm going to go with the loose powder because that made it look beautiful. That looked beautiful. I have a darker loose powder and this one is just in the shade deep. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face with that. I think it'll work. I think it will work. Oh yeah. Definitely. I don't need a lot. Oh! That finish is matte. That foundation set to matte. It's set completely to matte. So I'm just setting everything I'm at a medium Sh medium medium coverage uh, and I look my skin looks really good it looks really pretty really matte but I like it I like it okay all right okay okay oh I am really excited for how this is turning out really excited I'm gonna add my lower mascara I don't have a dollar mascara or do I? Well, too late now. I'm going to add on a mascara. Alright. So, what are we left with? Contour, blush, highlight. Let's go. So, for my contour... I did pick this shade. This is a uh, the chestnut. Oh, I'm sorry. This is by. Calm down. This is by the brand Amuse. Okay, and this is one of their Smoky Eyes eyeshadows. Uh, and from a, from Shop Miss A is one dollar, and it's a cool brown, and I it's gonna be great for contour. I'm gonna contour with it uh, lightly because this is actually deep and pigmented. I have tried these already. Look. Look at that. I barely used any. Beautiful contour shade. Oh, gorgeous. Oh. 
Oh, look whose edges are growing all in now, y'all. Okay. So we got a little contour. It's contour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Blush. I have, um, I have a bunch because AOA. So I'm going to use two cream blushes. I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm going to give it a go. So I have two that I want to mix together. This is These are from AOA Studio and they're cream blushes. And this is the shade Demure and Merlot. And I want to mix them to get a little neutral shade. I'm going to do it on the back of my hand first. And see where we get. Yep, this is exactly the kind of shade I can go for. Mix a little more because I use. There we go. And I'm gonna put it on my cheeks. And I'm gonna try to blend with my fingers just because. Yes, that's pretty. Now, I would usually set, I have a bunch of dollar blushes, but I wanted to use these newer cream ones. I have a bunch in my drawer, but I'm going to stick with the newer cream ones because, just because, I would set a cream blush and a cream highlight with a powder blush <laughs> or a powder highlight because that's just what I do, but that's really pretty. It's really pretty. So we mix two cream blushes and we got our blush. Y'all know that's my favorite part, right? Highlighter. Now, y'all, this, this is from Amuse, and this is their Illuminate Pro. This is $1. Look how big this pan is. This is going to be my highlighter today, okay? Oh, I look so much. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. I think it complements the blue brown blue deep really well. I'm going to have a shiny, I'm going to have a Rudolph nose because I overdid it. But you know what? Whatever. <laughs> yes, honey. Give it to me. I think I need a little bit of that. I don't know how I feel about the shine from this highlighter hitting the shine from the cream blush, but we are already committed and we are always beautiful, so it is what it is. Look at how much light that captures. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. See, it looks kind of, wait a minute, I look like I got banged in the eye. Wait a minute. Let's fix that. Let's put some foundation on it. Why do I look like I got beat up? Oh no! I think I fixed it a little bit. A little bit more powder. Let's dust some powder over it. It's just reflecting really weird. A little bit better. Let me see. Whatever. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. You guys, it does look like I got beat up. I don't like that. What can we do? But I like this highlighter. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, it's probably not as bad as I'm making it out to be. But I like it. Like when I turn, I like it. Whatever. Let's try, let's see. Okay, I'm about to probably mess it up. But let's see. I am another like a lighter highlight. <laughs> That's what they mess it up. I'm about, to, I'm about to mess it. I'm about to mess it all up. I'm about to mess it up. I mixed like a peachy one with it and it turned it gold, like a pink peachy one, and it turned it gold. And y'all already know how I look in gold highlighter. Better, better. Okay, all right. 
Again, this is one of the Lumi Radiant. It's actually a blush, but it's too light for me. So it's a highlighter for me. And it's by AOA Studio and it's a baked one. And this that was the shade called Sin. Okay? Cute. Now, oh, I might as well put some on the nose. Get everything consistent. Boy, I'm glowing. Um, okay. What lip do we want with this look? Uh, there's a lot. I don't know if I want pink. Why not? Let's go for color. Let's do this pink. Let me see. Yeah. Ooh, let me do a dark lip liner. So I got these lip liners. Found them in my Dollar Tree. These are the Wet n Wild First Gel Lip Liners. I don't like to use things that aren't necessarily a dollar. Like if you find this in CVS, it's not going to be a dollar. Um, you have to find the Dollar Tree for it to be a dollar. But I'm going to use it for this. <laughs> so this is the shade. I just said it. Oh, I got the juice. It's a retractable gel lip liner. So I'm going to put this on. And then I'm going to put on the LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse in the shade Rhapsody. I think like this is definitely an evening, well, an evening look, whatever that means. Um, but I'm really happy with it. Uh, I love this grungy eye. Um, the medium coverage face is pretty decent. I didn't spray it. Let's spray it. Again, I don't have a dollar one, but e.l.f. setting. Mist and set will work just fine. With that hint of teal up in there. Ooh, y'all. And a pink. Let me change my turban. <laughs> when I'm going to take my twist out. I took it out. <laughs> it's hard when you're in quarantine and you got a way to go. So. Twist out just going to be what it is. Does <laughs> everything dry down? There we go. Nothing over a dollar ish. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave them down below. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!